Hey, the topic of this video is flares for sprinter vans, whether you want to flare out for your bedding system and why you would want to do that and kind of the thought process behind that if you're trying to figure that out. Um, so you got a couple of different options with your flarings uh, and most of it is going to be based on what you want to do with your bed. and That is going to be dependent on how high you are uh, or how tall you are. You, if you are 5'10 or shorter, uh, you probably don't even need to do the flares. Uh, so you can just do your bedding system, uh, put in uh, any kind of bedding system you want, and there's a bunch of different options. I got that posted up in a different video uh, about the bedding systems and different ones. But uh, yeah, if you're 5'10 or shorter, you can sleep across in one of these, and that'll be fine. Um, you, you don't have to do any flares or anything else. If you are taller than 5'10, uh, say between 5'10 and 6 foot 2, you, you know, you, every f and when you do do the flares, they're 3 inches each, right? You get one on either side of the vehicle, a uh, driver's side and a passenger side. And so at 3 inches each, I mean, basically, you know, figure out, you know, the tax on 3 inches. So if you're 5'10, you can be 6 foot 1. That's one flare. Uh, if you are 6 1-ish or taller, then you need to put in a second flare on the other side, another three inches. Uh, and, you know, if you are really tall, uh, there is the option on the driver's side to have a five inch flare out, right? So it basically just goes right into this window opening and it flares out five inches. So you can get three inches on one side, five inches on the other. And, you know, that gives you an extra eight inches. Um, so if you start at 5'10", add eight inches, you're going to be six foot six and fit into one of these horizontally, uh, which is pretty impressive. Um, now, the flares are not cheap. Uh, the base uh, pricing on the flares is $1,600 to get three inches on either side. So that's six inches added on to your uh, 71 to 72 inches that you have on the interior. I know, I know, it's 73 inches from wall to wall, metal to metal. But by the time you're done putting in your insulation and the rest of your stuff, you're down to, you know, around 71 inches. Uh, and you want to have an extra inch or two of space for your feet, for your toes to kind of bend and to not hit your head and all the rest of that kind of stuff. So then you're down to around 69 inches. I'm six feet tall, so that's 72 inches, so I'm already three inches short. So if I was going to go across, I'd have to put in at least one flare, if not two, uh, so that I'd have comfortable headroom. Uh, and not bang my head. So that would be at least $1,600 to do three inches on either side. Uh, and then from there, if you do the five inch push out, that's you know an extra couple hundred bucks on top of that. So then you're up to $1,800, $1,900. And if you want windows, uh, then you know that's a few hundred more. Uh, so now you're around $2,000. And depending on which windows you get, then, you know, it's gonna, the price is gonna vary a little bit. Um, so there's two different types of windows that you see out there most regularly. Most of the time you see the cheaper windows, which are the kind that slide, you know, left to right, right? It's a halfway cut window and it slides left to right. And uh, there's a little screen behind there for the bugs. And that's fine, as long as it doesn't rain. I live in Seattle, it rains. So that's not a great solution. Um, which is why I prefer the more expensive CRL window, which uh, kind of cantilevers out from the side or just kind of pops out from the side of the wall, pops out. And so if it rains, it just, you know, as long as it's not raining crazy sideways or anything, as long as it's raining down, uh, it's just going to hit that and just roll right off, which is great. And then, you know, there's mesh screening on the inside for the bugs. So I think that that's the best one. So if you did three inches uh, on either side, and you got the nice CRL windows, the CR Lawrence windows, then your price tag goes up to around $2,300. And that is just for the parts. That does not include installation. That is just you order the parts and they show up in the mail and you have to do it yourself. Um, you also have to get the specialty uh, caulk, the Sikflex uh, stuff, I forget which one, but you'll have to get that stuff and it's about 10 bucks a bottle and you'll need two bottles per flare out. Uh, the flare outs uh, are not made of aluminum, they are made out of fiberglass, just so that you know that is a change in the type. 
not that big of a deal. Uh, people have them. I believe that they are pre-painted, so um, you know you don't have to paint them yourself. Uh, I'm not sure what the details are on that, having not done it myself. Um, might have to look into that a little bit more with whoever you order them from. Um, <clears throat> so, but needless to say, those are the general price points. It gets pretty expensive pretty fast, and uh, something to think about. Uh, particularly if you have the 144 wheel length wheelbase, uh, this is an option that becomes almost a foregone conclusion, I think, and uh, that's really where you want to have it done, so that you're more comfortable with your bedding system and you can fit more stuff into the van, like a shower or a toilet or you know a sink or countertop. Uh, just more space to do stuff. So uh, that's the deal with the flaring. That's kind of how you have to think it through, try to figure out how tall you are and what kind of bedding system you want and kind of go from there. Um.